My name is Mike from the Kitsap Banjo Club. Today we're going to talk about tremoloing and about picking. Uh, usually what happens with beginners is they have some trouble picking and some trouble tremoloing for tenor, plectrum banjo, and for guitar, even for mandolin. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the mechanics and the physical part of what happens with this pick. Now, well, a lot of people do it a little bit differently, but we'll see what works for me and what works for quite a few professionals that I know. Let's take a closer look at it with the little simulated dowels that I have. Let's take a look at how people hold their pick to start with a lot of times. I know I did this when I started playing, is I just put the pick in my hand and I kind of pinched it in between my fingers here. And this dowel is going to represent the pivot point and go towards the pivot point and the way, the pick, way I was holding the pick. So if I put the pick in my hand like this, it was pivoting down here like this. Now it looks like I'm up kind of pinched against my fingers here, right? Okay, so let's move this dowel over so I can kind of see how it's looking when when I strum against a string like this. What happens if you strum against it, it's moving at a slight angle to it, but mostly pretty close to perpendicular, I mean parallel to it, excuse me. So when it goes down, it strums down easy most of the time for most people, and it, it sticks and comes back. So if you use a soft pick, you can trim a low real fast with it. What you're doing is you're allowing the pick to move back and forth. So let's look at another scenario, what happens when you change the way you hold the pick. So on this one here, I have the pick straight in line. So when I hold it in my hand, I'm going to move my index finger down, and so it's going to pull it down like this. It's still going to pivot from the middle of my hand, but now the pick is pointing towards the pivot point. If I was to use this, this pick here, I can show you how I'm kind of holding it, where I pinched it, and it's pointed over towards the side of my hand. But if I was to move my finger down just a little bit, you see how the pick turns here? It's turning. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, this, move my index finger down so it turns. Now here's what happens then, is again, I'm holding it, and it's going towards the pivot point here, and I'm holding it against the string, and when I strum across it, I'm actually strumming at an angle to it, and I'm allowing the side of the pick to do some of the work here. So I'm going back and forth between it. Now we're going to show a picture of the banjo, and show how it actually fits on your arms, and then we'll show some close-ups of how it actually works with a real pick. So here's the pick pointing towards the side of my hand over here. And I'm still in the pivot point here, but it's pointing in another direction because the pick is actually angled, right? So now, when I put this on here, and I go to strum and use a pivot point here, I'm going to pivot. I'm reasonably parallel to the string. And a soft pick will move easy, but a hard pick will get stuck. If I change the way and move this index finger down, so it's still moving from the pivot point in the palm of my hand, but now when I go across the strings, the strings are moving at an angle. This, I'm attacking the strings at an angle now. So it's rolling up and down on the strings. Now we'll take a close look at it with a real pick. Okay, so when you start, begin to pick and begin to strum, you strum parallel to the, to the strings. And let's, let me show you how it moves. See how the pick is moving? And it even gets caught on me. I get stuck even on with a 73 thousandths pick. But if I take this and move this around, so it's pointing towards the pivot point now, I'm attacking the strings at an angle here now. Now the pick is actually not moving as much, flexing as much as rolling across it. But it's much easier to strum, much easier to tremolo with it. So here's a scenario of strumming at an angle here. Now it's not for everybody. Everybody has kind of a little different way of doing it. This is what works for a lot of professionals that I know, and it works for me. And you can try it. And for me, when I started doing it this way, I noticed maybe a 50% maybe a increase in my tremolo in about a few weeks, a month maybe. Just by turning this finger from here, where the pick is pointing towards the far side of my hand, to, to the pivot point. 
and then when they put the fingers down on there, my fingers, the pick is pointing straight out, straight out the strings, and my fingers turned around so I can hold it. Now your hand is very, this string right here, this finger right here is very strong, right against the edge here, so you're pushing that against that very strong edge there of your, of your finger, and it's actually easier on your hands to do it too. So, Okay, there's a little trick side that I have learned about tremoloing and about picking. I hope they help. Have fun now.